Happy Sunday, you guys! Look where I am in the apartment, <laughs> which you guys haven't really seen much of lately. I am extremely excited because we are decorating the apartment for Christmas. I had to do one last Christmas in this apartment, you guys, because I love Christmas every single year. It's probably my favorite time of the year in the apartment because the tree just in the window, all the decor, all the lights, ornaments, everything. I just think it really makes this apartment like shine. And this is going to be our last Christmas here. I actually was thinking that we we're going to be moving before Christmas, but now we're going to be moving middle of January. Just because if you guys don't know, as an influencer or you know somebody that posts content for you guys to see December is actually a pretty busy month with holidays so I just wanted to make sure that I actually had proper time to move everything and I'm able to get over to the house and have everything moved and it's not a super stressful period as well because I do want to go home to see my family and I thought that today we can go ahead and decorate the apartment I have a little bit of a free day today as you guys saw in the last video we did the plaster walls in the kitchen so I'm really just waiting on the tile to come now I know a lot of you guys probably already have your spaces decorated but I hope that you can still vibe with me we can have some fun decorating and then maybe this will give you some tips as well if you haven't let's get started i am so excited about the tree this year i'm actually putting it in a pot i'm gonna grab it and show it to you guys I did also want to let you guys know that over on LoneFox.com, all of the holiday decor is 20% off. I normally do this sale around the 15th, so it's a bit earlier this year. So you could shop all the holiday decor and we are shipping right away, you guys. So if you want anything for your home, it's all over on the site. And then I also wanted to let you guys know that we have a new art print section and there are so many art prints, like over 300, all categorized in different categories. So if you like still lifes or whatever they might be, just thought I would share that with you guys. Some new fun items over at LoneFox. Box and also some great giftable items as well, of course, tons of home goods and kitchenware. I thought uh, it'd be nice to put the tree in a large piece of pottery. So this is going to be our Christmas tree vessel this year, which is really fun. It's actually an antique pottery piece that I got from Olive Atelier. I actually texted Kendall one day and said, do you have anything for a tree? And she said, what about this? And I loved it because I can totally use this in the courtyard. Once Christmas is through this year, I could pop this out in the courtyard, but I love the little scallopy details on it. I thought these were really cute. I thought putting it in a pot this year would be fun. And this one in specific actually allows you to put a ton of presents under the tree because it's very skinny at the bottom. So we could fit quite a few presents. Also elevating the tree stand in this pot, just with a couple of baskets underneath there, that way it pops out a bit. tree I added a couple strands of outdoor string lights because I wanted to add a variation of lighting in the tree just to give a little bit of visual interest. I then went in with a couple different ribbons, mainly the skinnier velvet ribbon in a lavender color and then an amber shade crushed velvet ribbon which was just gorgeous. I love those two colors paired together and those were the starting points for my tree this year. First layer on the tree, I did these really beautiful velvet bows. These are like a crushed velvet amber. And then these ones are this lilac -y lavender, which I love because this year I'm kind of going for a very eclectic, just very interesting random tree. There's not really rhyme or reason to it. I'm using colors I like, textures I like, patterns I like, and you'll see more of that when I get to the Christmas wrapping as well. Love the way the tree is looking so far. I also forgot this year, I actually picked up these ornaments from Anthropology, which are these little brass like die cut foliage pieces. They're like leaves and flowers and I thought they were really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna pop these on the tree as well. I have a bunch of them. So I think it's going to kind of like create the continuity on the tree with the brass. And then we're gonna add a bunch of random ornaments just to kind of add some more interest. Oh, 
it's gone. Okay, our tree is done and I love it this year. It is so cute. There's so many warm tones in it, which you guys know I always kind of go for. We have our pot at the bottom. Then look at all of these tones. There's like gold, amber, bronze. There's some plum colors in here. And something else I did in the tree was actually add these really great outdoor bulbs. So these are meant for like string lights outside, but I added them to the tree just to add little elements of additional lighting in the tree. So it kind of looked like there was different light strands throughout and I love it, it's so pretty. Look how cute these stockings are. I got one of these this year. And then just a little knitted one from last year. And I think these might be one of my favorite holiday decors this year. They're kind of loud, but these are these really pretty little vintage-y style bells. I got these at West Elm, and I love them. And I'm also doing this dried wreath, which I love. It has, I think it's a eucalyptus and juniper wreath and I just love it. It's dried, so it's actually real, and I'm using a little bit of the same crushed velvet ribbon. So I hammered a nail right at the top of the picture rail, and I'm actually going to be hanging this wreath over the top of my artwork, just so the artwork has a little more interest, and it's almost like a layered look with the wreath, because as you guys can see, this artwork is pretty simple, so I feel like we can layer this on top just to give it a bit more of an interesting element. Our mantle is decorated, our tree is decorated, and I'm loving the direction of both. But something I wanted to share with you is the wrapping that I'm doing of my presents. Because each year I like to kind of theme my gift wrapping just to kind of coordinate with what I'm doing for the year. Just, it makes it a little bit more fun. And this year I'm actually using a wrapping paper book for all of my presents, which if you guys look at wrapping paper books, you might open them and be like, what the heck am I gonna do with this piece of wrapping paper? Like. This is all you get, which is pretty normal with a lot of wrapping paper books, and they're normally pretty pricey. However, the patterns are always the best. So what I'm doing this year is I'm actually using craft paper as a base for all of my presents. So I'm using just generic craft paper, and then wrapping my gifts like this, just in the craft paper. And then over top, I'm actually adding these little sashes of patterned paper, which come from the booklet. That way you can kind of utilize your patterns more. You just get a little touch of pattern on top. And I love the way this kind of really intense pattern pairs with a more simple craft paper and then a funky bow. So as you can see, the presents just all kind of look different, but they all go together at the same time. I just love the way that these are looking. So I wanted to share with you how I did them. Just wrap your gift in a simple craft paper. I got mine at, I think, Target. And then you're gonna pull out a piece of your wrapping paper that you wanna use. Now, I already pulled one out and I cut it in half. So as you can see, I cut it in half and then I taped the pieces together. And I'm actually gonna use this as just a band of pattern around the exterior of our box. You can then kind of maneuver your band of paper where you'd like it on your present. I'm thinking probably around there would be really cute. And then over the top, you can add a ribbon. I think this pink one's really fun. I'm just going crazy with colors and patterns this year. I just feel like it's, we just need that, you know? We need a little bit of fun, a little bit of cheer this holiday season, so I'm adding in fun pink ribbon. For tying the bow fully, I'm actually going to loop on one of these little just metal leaf charms. These are from those anthro ornaments that I got. And I'm just gonna loop that on our ribbon. Do you see the little leaf in there? It adds just such a cute little touch. And that is the finished wrapped present. I love the way that these look. I feel like it looks like there's so much intention and thought put into them. However, you're just kind of using a wrapping paper book and some craft paper as your base. You guys remember a while back, I got this runner for the new house, but I haven't brought it over to the new house yet, and I got it for the hallway. But I'm thinking it could be so pretty layered on top of this rug for the time being, and then putting the coffee table back on because it has these really beautiful green and red tones in it. I feel like it just totally screams kind of Christmas for some reason, I don't know why. Hello. 
Hello, good morning guys. Look how cute the Christmas decor is coming along. So far, I absolutely love it. We need to finish up the living room today. So I just need to do a little bit of styling on the coffee table and I think just a little mantle styling and I have a quick tablescape idea for you guys as well, which is super cute. And then we're gonna work into my bedroom because I decided yesterday night I was gonna do a little bit in my bedroom as well. I just want to, I feel like, you know what? It's the last time I'm gonna be in here. I also have a picture window in my bedroom. If you guys remember, I have that big arched window and it has always been my dream to put a Christmas tree in that arched window and I never have. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta do it this year. I'm moving in January, so it's gonna have to happen. We're gonna do that today though. So let's get started. I think we're gonna start with the coffee table and I'm gonna say to you guys, I'm obsessed with the rug. I love adding the runner on top. It is so cute. I would have never have thought to do that, but I just saw it in the other room and was like, that's so, just has a Christmassy vibe to the space and the pattern, the motif and the colors is just ideal. So uh, we're gonna start with the coffee table. So let's get to styling that. To style the coffee table, I actually kept the same magnolia leaves and vessel from last fall. I've had this on my coffee table for like over a year and a half. I love it so much. And then I added a couple other elements, like a little bowl I found at Goodwill with some ornaments and a couple of stars in the flower arrangement as well and these great pine cone candles. Really simple, but also kind of festive. And I just love the colors on there. I just love the look of a throw blanket on the back of a sofa that's in the middle of the room. So as you can see, the back of the sofa isn't super interesting, but just adding that little bit of fringe and color just makes the sofa more inviting. You can also swap this out per season or if you're changing up your decor to implement a new color palette. But this one's from the store. Actually, both of the plaid uh, throws are. They're like the most popular throws in the store. I love them. I think this one's the Clary and then this one's the Lewis. Wait, but you guys, look how cute it's looking. I love the color palette though. It kind of has this warm, just like woodsy feeling to it. packs of these jingle bells. They're like these brass, really pretty, just antique style bells. And I'm actually just gonna hang them in the slack of my DIY project. Super simple. This one looks a little clustered. How lovely and cozy is the dining room? Now, I know some of you guys are like, wait, how's it already looking like this? Well, I actually already uh, filmed a little bit of this for a project I was working on for Anthropology, and it was so fun. They sent over these beautiful skinnier trees, which I added over in the corner. And on the table, I did a really simple tablescape, but it's really impactful and I love it. So let me share with you how I did this. To create this table setting, I started off with six round plates. These are a dark brown, and I just love those as the base. And then I'm gonna work on the focal point in the middle, which is going to be some faux garland. Believe it or not, this is actually faux. It is so high quality, I love it so much. So I'm adding that to the center of the table. I added two strands of that, and then I'm also going to be intertwining this olive branch garland that I got from Anthro. And it just has these great little kind of glimmering lights on it. So that's just going to add so much dimension and interest to the center of the table. Now I want to add a little bit of height, so I'm adding candlesticks to the center. These are all brass in like a couple different styles, and then also a little bit of this golden ribbon. I absolutely love this crushed velvet ribbon. I got a couple rolls this year in different shades, and I just have been using it all around the apartment and with my gift wrapping as well. It is so stunning. And then on top of each of the plates, I'm just doing a simple knot in the napkin and wrapping it under almost like a wrapped present. I think it gives a little cute touch to the space. I added these special wine glasses to each of the play settings and then of course we have to finish it off with a little bit of silverware which I always have to google how to properly set this on the table so I set that up and that is the table setting.
I got my tree collar out from the garage that I used last year. Now, traditionally, a tree collar is supposed to go like this, where it kind of tapers upwards. However, whenever I use a tree collar, I like to flip it over. I feel like it makes it look like your tree's in a basket, which I love so much more than like in a little random cone thingy that's like hiding the bottom. I feel like it looks like it's almost planted within the basket. Silent night. I only have one wish for the shooting star. Holy night. Send me someone to love so I can hold their hand. This particular tree is a Norway spruce. So the branches actually flare upwards, which I love. That is a stunning tree. Absolutely stunning. It looks so real. Also, can you believe it came out of the box? I didn't even fluff it. I didn't even touch it and it looks like this. That's crazy. And all my favorite things come and sets up too. So does love. Send me someone I can talk to. We'll share stories of our childhood memories of Christmas past. Chestnuts on an open fire and another love to make it last. We'll build frosty the snowman and dance along with the Christmas band. And then we'll fall in black to all love birds walking around. So I'm taking these little bell ornaments that I got at Joann's and I'm going to link them together just by opening up the strand at the top and then slipping this one through but making it catch on the next ornament like that. Then I'm going to take it again, slip it through, make it catch. So you essentially have three bells and it just looks a little bit more of a dramatic ornament without having to like purchase a whole ornament like that. Kind of popped in my head, but it's so cute. I love the cluster of three little bells just kind of placed around the tree. Now this little table right here is the cutest table ever. And believe it or not, this is from Wayfair. I actually got this. Um, I just needed a side table just for a little plant stand I was doing, but it didn't end up working out in the space that I was working on. So I kept it and I love it. It is so freaking cute. So if you're in the market for a side table, I'm gonna link this one below for you, but I'm just gonna pop a holiday candle on here and just kind of put it by the tree. I think I'm gonna actually end up removing the chairs from here. The tree does take up quite a bit of this space as you can see. So I'm just gonna have a little side table with a candle. We're also going to pop a blanket down here to cover up the bottom of the tree and like the stand. And yeah, so let's get that out of here. I just finished up decorating this year for the holidays and I'm excited to reveal some of the clips I just shot for you guys. I wanted to just film some final clips of the space, show you the full kind of vibe and aesthetic that I was going for this year and yeah. So this is this year's holiday apartment makeover.
that you guys loved this year's holiday apartment decorating video. Next year, we are going to be in a house. It's going to be a house decorating video, and we have lots of spaces that can be decorated. So I'm pretty sure next year's Christmas video is going to be a bit more epic than this one. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this one. It might give you a couple tips or maybe ideas for next year's Christmas, or if you haven't decorated yet this year as well, or if you just wanted a little cozy Christmas video to watch, that is also Fine. It's fine by me. So I will catch you guys in my next video. I hope that you're having an incredible holiday season so far. And don't forget that all of the Lone Fox holiday collection is 20% off over on the website. No code or anything. Just add it to your cart and the discount will be applied in cart. And you can check out US orders over 99 ship for free. So it's just a really great deal if you want to stock up on some Christmas decor for next year um, or even add it this year because we ship so fast, guys. Like my mom and aunt are shipping around the clock. Like, they're shipping your orders within 24 hours. So yeah, I'll get you in the next one. Bye, guys.